There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it in your keychain. It's an empty bathtub. So, uh, this game has gotten so creepy really fast. Me no likey. Yeah, it's, oh, it's Slender Man. It smells like sweet lemons. Well, when life gives you lemon, lemon bread. Call, hum, unhug, flex, cry, hum. You hum a familiar tune, Lemon Bread's body shakes. Welcome to my special hell. Really? Oh, really? Oh my. Really? Oh. Our fate rests upon- yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. I know! That's why they keep saying stay determined. Because the determination resurrects me. Let's go this way instead. That mirror is gonna play tricks on me. Golden flowers. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Oh my. These mirrors are gonna scare me somehow. Entry number ten. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. The seeds? Ah, yeah, I figured. Yeah, I figured. Uh, to fight all these crazy looking monsters. Mystify, hum, pray, clean. You wash your hands, nothing happened. Uh, trippy. Don't throw those butterflies at me. Pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Something remembers its conscience. Something enough. Oh my. Mystify. You did something mysterious. Recognize it as more to learn from this world. Something is enough. Oh my, oh my, why, why, why game? Why do you have to be so creeptastic? Hum. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Nope, something is enough. You drink the star fruit, you recovered 18 hit points. Uh, I don't like it when the heads come off. Pick on. You pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. So these are the souls of the curd. So I finally, finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit. So this is the uh, souls of the monsters that she experimented on. That's my guess. Reaper Bird seems placated. You won and earned 0 XP and 0 gold. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you could read. Cold. Some kind of switch. There's a blue colored slot in the center. So fridge. I have to find something cold. Golden flowers. I'm sure I'll find a fridge or something. What happens if I actually sleep on the bed? Comfortable bed. Lie on it? Sure. Sure, I'll sleep in this creepy place. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Oh. It's a yellow key. You put it on your... So now we're gonna go, let's go this way. Cold. This must be where the key, the other, the blue thing is. Entry number level, 11. 
Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. Oh, but I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Fans. Fans. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Yes. This is where the blue key is. Yep. It's a ball. It's another soul. It's Arceus. It's like, come on. It's the amalgamate. Mal amalgamate. Play. Amalgamate is not excited enough to play with. Oh my gosh, it's like a dog, but not. A dog that shoots missiles. Lovely. Beckon, you call them al um, alligate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from its orifice. Oh. Is it hovering close? Pet. You pet the amal amalgate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Oh, this is so creepy! Creepy! Alan, it is striking the wall. Let's play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The, uh, my frying pan. The Almagate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Almagate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Amalgate is twitching affectionately. Ignore. You try looking away, but it seems to appear everywhere you look. Amalgate is twitching affectionately. Lock it? You drink the star fruit. Your hit point is maxed out. Oh, jeez. It's twitching affectionately. Check. I'm gonna get, it's unclear how many dogs this count says. Oh my. It's twitching. Um... Pet, you pet the Almagate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Convulsions intensify. Your pet decisively, the Almagate seems to be satisfied by all this. Endogeny is contented. Endogeny? So that's. Spare. You won! This is so weird. Something. Oh, I already got that, I already got that. Now we're gonna go into the creepy, creepy shower thing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Green key lying in the bathtub. Click. The yellow key fits perfectly into the slot. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. That's all you could read. Yeah, I already, I already did that. There are a bunch of VHSs. It seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Tape one. Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? I know this song. I think. Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush! I want to go get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What if my what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. 
No, no, not yet. Hee hee hee. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know. It, it's really confusing. I don't know who's saying what half the time. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. Ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day, you could be a famous Mamedian. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Uh, it's Toriel. Haha, <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Okay, I guess the sound of the text. The sound of the text as, if, as it goes across the screen tells you which one it is. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. Perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Interesting. There are a bunch of VHS. It seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized. Save for a few stray sticky ones? What? Why sticky? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird capes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Choose a tape to watch. Tape two. Okay, Angelus, are you ready? What? Do your creepy face. Ah, hee hee hee. Oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not going to do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Haha, -ha. why Angelus? Okay, now that's creepy. Choose a tape to watch. Tape three. That's creepy. Howdy, Angelus. Smile for the camera. Ha, huh, this time I got you. I left the cap on. On purpose. Now you're smiling for no no reason. No reason. Hee hee hee. What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. Oh, those flowers, those golden flowers. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay, turn off the camera? Okay. What is this supposed to mean? I... I don't like this idea, Angelus. Wh what No, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I never doubt you, Angelus. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Don't, don't, don't look at the flowers. You get the flowers, but don't look at the flowers. Angelus, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Oh my, this is creepy. Angelus, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Angelus, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, no, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Six souls? Oh my, this is getting super creepy. I just need to save. I just need to save. I don't know if I necessarily enjoy this part because it's it's a little, honestly, it's a bit too creepy for my taste. A bit too creepy. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm enjoying this part. And here comes this Slender man, whatever is wannabe. Unhug. You let someone let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. Welcome to my special. Oh my. Oh my. Smells like sweet lemons. Flex. You flex your arm. Lemon bread's muscles shake. Do you think I'm pretty? Oh my. Ugh. That one is hard. Yeah, stay determined. I know, I know. Stay determined. That's the whole thing. That's the whole point. Determination.
scream. You screamed out, but nobody came. Welcome. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It smells like sweet lemons. Cry. You cried as loud as you could, but nobody came. Uh, but nobody came. Oh my. This one is the creepiest one of them all. It smells like sweet lemons. You called for help, but nobody came. Do you think I'm pretty? It smells like sweet lemons. Ugh. Okay guys, I think I finally was able to figure out how to get past this monster. You pretty much have to do unhug, then hum, then flex. And then after that, you can spare him. You won. All right, let me save this really quickly. Cause this place is huge. I was I wasn't expecting this when I was going to go, to go and explore the truth about Alphys. What happened here, Alphys? That thing. I don't know if Dwayne would want to know what that thing is. DT extraction machine status inactive. Is that how they extracted the souls? Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Wow, so she told them that their families can come all home and then something went wrong. These are refrigerators, they're cold. I bet the keys in here. It's a refrigerator, it's empty. One of these is the key seems to contain samples of some kind. Oh my. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. No, that thing definitely moved. It definitely moved. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Gosh. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. There we go. I figured. It's so cold. These are like horrible Pokemon things. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. These are like from other... Monsters. It's so cold. Laugh. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Sn snowy. Oh my gosh. It's so cold. Heckle. You said something like, You look horrible. Why are you even alive? Whoops. What? You didn't say that. Snowy. Joke. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so we just have to keep joking. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won! You found the blue key on the ground. You put it on your keychain. I bet you this is the green. Yeah. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Yeah, the shower curtain. Click, the green key fits perfectly to the slot. It's a refrigerator. It's not empty. There's a ghost in there. Alright, now I have gotten all the keys, I think. It's time for us to check out how all of this comes into play. What did you do, Alphys? What happened? What happened? Creepy mirror room. Yeah, I want out of this place. This place is just way far too creeptastic for my taste. The blue key fits perfectly to the slot. Alright, that means everything is... Something moved. I think. It's 
just a regular suspicious, a regular suspicious bed now. It's a connecting dog. Google. There was a dog here. I guess one of those dogs. That soul of the dog. Now we can do this. Alphys, where are you? Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Seems to be turned off. But I want more entries. Alphys, what's going on? It seems like this controls the elevator's power. With a soul. It controls it with a soul. There's a heart in there. There's a soul inside. Oh look, it's all of the souls that I didn't kill. All the souls that I spared. Why are you guys coming to me? Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Oh. Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had, and... Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you do, Lisa Simpson. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power called determination. I injected into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these con concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone is asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. Well, good for you. It, that, that's, that's evolution of char character, fessing up to what happened. I mean, these families need closure. They need closure. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing I, deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Okay. The power has been turned on. So are you actually going to tell everybody? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of this garden, there's something special. The first, oh, the flowey, it's flowey. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? It turns into flowey, a demonic flower. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Yeah, I know what happened to it. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Dun dun dun. Angelus, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Angelus, see you soon. <laughs> What the? The door is jammed shut with vines. What the? So I have to beat this game again, is what you're saying, is what you're telling me. Okay. Okay. Here we go again. Am I going to run into Sans again? No, I'm not going to run into Sans again. Sans! Throne room. 
this is where Flowey was at. Flowey's no longer here. And then we kept walking and talking and walking and talking, and now I have to go fight this. Here we go again. All right. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by any chance you have any unfinished business, I can't. I can't go back. I can't go back. I see. This is it, then. I don't have much of a choice. I have to go through this all over again. Uh. Determination. Yep. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh gosh, now what happened? Now what's going on? Oh, Toria. What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Did you just kill your husband? Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toria. Your friend and guardian. Some friend and guardian. You haven't been picking up any of my phone calls. Thanks a lot, Mom. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. He's not terrible. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken, taken six souls from humans, then come back and free everyone peacefully, but instead you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. No, Asgore, human. Wait, that's Undyne. Nah, Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toria. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Ah, uh, hi. There's two of them. Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. <laughs> look at, look at Papyrus's eyes. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? Oh, it's Suns. Hey, guys, what's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may know each other. Oh, is that your son? Oh, hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Yes? Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus, what does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shing shingles! I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Oh, oh, Undyne. Oh, Undyne. 